Good day, dear televiewers and subscribers. I am Teresa G. Reyes from Honorato C. Perez Senior Memorial Science High School, your Earth Science teacher presenter for today's episode of Depen Hour Teleturuan. Let us study and learn through this objective. Describe the structure and evolution of ocean basins. If you recall our previous topic, you have learned that seafloor spreading and subduction are the most important types of tectonic activities that shape the Earth, and also the ocean basins. The Atlantic Basin, for instance, is expanding because of seafloor spreading. Knowing that tectonic activity constantly changes ocean basins, Questions such as how to describe the structure of ocean basins and how did ocean basins evolve are important points to ponder in studying ocean basins. Let us first find out what are ocean basins. Ocean basins are a consequence of plate motion, subducting slopes, pull on their plates, leading to spreading at divergent plate boundaries. The ocean basins are partially bounded by the continents, but they are interconnected, which is why marine scientists refer to a single world ocean. There are five major ocean basins coordinating with the major oceans of the world. The Pacific Basin, the Atlantic Basin, the Indian Basin, the Arctic Basin, and the Southern Basin. Many smaller basins are often considered oceanic basins, such as the North Aleutian Basin between the Pacific and Arctic Oceans. Did you know? The HMS Challenger Expedition made the first attempt to measure the water depth with winches and cables, and the Meteor Expedition was the first to measure water depth with acoustic methods using echo sounding. On the other hand, the first public map of the North Atlantic Ocean Basin was published by Bruce Hizen in 1959. The structure of ocean basins involves measuring the size and shape of the Earth's ocean basins. The continental margins of major features of the ocean floor are continental shelf with less than 150 meters of water depth, continental slope or steep ramp to a depth up to 1,200 meters and continental rise is found at the base of the continental slope. Those types of margins may be passive, whose shelf with hundreds of kilometers wide, or active, whose shelf may be less than one kilometer wide. Ocean basins can be either active with a lot of new structures being created and shaped, or they can be inactive where their surface is slow to change and does little more than collect sediment. All of those slopes are capped by submarine or V-shaped canyons. Each canyon's thick, fan-shaped sedimentary deposit is called an abyssal fan. The ocean floor is found at the base of the continental rise in water 4,000 to 6,000 meters deep. Numerous volcanoes populate the floor of the ocean basins. Scientists estimate that there are approximately 10,000 volcanoes on the ocean floor. Mid-ocean ridge is normally found rising above the ocean floor at the center of the ocean basins. The mid-oceanic ridge constitutes 20% of the Earth's surface. Mid-ocean ridges are long linear mountain chains which occur in all oceans and down basins. On the other hand, Fracture zones are perpendicular to ridges. Deep ocean basins greater than 4,000 meters in water depth are typically flat or subdued topography and regularly capped by long fracture zones. Ocean trenches are long, narrow, steep-sided depressions found on the ocean floor that contain the greatest depths in the ocean. They mark the transition between continents and ocean basins, especially in the Pacific Basin. Ocean rises include sea mounts such as geos, atolls, and all forms of submarine volcanoes and submarine plateaus. Now you know that ocean basins are the largest depressions on Earth. I'll tell you more as we continue on the evolution of ocean basins when we come back after the break. Stay tuned! Welcome back here 
at depth our teletroan. Knowing the structure or formation of ocean basins, next question is, how did ocean basins evolve? Different ocean basins are geomorphologically distinct based on their stage of geological evolution according to the Wilson cycle. The stages of ocean basin evolution include embryonic, juvenile, mature, declining, terminal, and relict scar. Stage 1 is embryonic. Continental drifting plays a key role in the formation of an ocean. Rift valley forms as continent begins to split. When separation does occur, sediments from the adjacent continent soon begin to build out into the new basin and will become part of the eventual continental shelf slope rise zone. An example is a Great Rift Valley in Eastern Africa. Stage 2 is described as juvenile. Seafloor basalts begin forming as continental sections diverge. Initially, the young marine basin is fairly shallow. If repeated influxes of seawater become wholly or partly evaporated, salt deposits will accumulate. Otherwise, there will be normal marine sedimentation of mats, sands, and limestones depending on local conditions. One of the clearest examples of a young ocean basin is the Red Sea. In Stage 3, Mature ocean basin becomes broad as it widens. Trenches develop and subduction begins. The ocean floor between the spreading axis and the continent subsides by thermal contraction of the underlying lithosphere. Abyssal plains form and the continental shelf slope rise zone becomes fully developed. The continental margins are more or less parallel to the central spreading ridge as in the Atlantic Ocean. Stage 4 is a declining ocean basin when subduction eliminates much of seafloor and oceanic reefs. The reason for the formation of new destructive margins probably lies in changing circumstances in another part of the globe, such as continental collision or the initiation of new continental rifting. Dominant motions are spreading and shrinking, an example is the Pacific Ocean. The Mediterranean is an ocean in the final stages of its life in Stage 5, with the African plate being consumed under the European plate, unless the world system of plates changes so as to halt the northward movement of Africa relative to Europe. The continental blocks of Europe and Africa will eventually collide and new mountain ranges will form in Stage 6. Stage 6 correspond to relict scar, such as the Indus structure in the Himalayas, which involves shrinking and uplifting of young mountains. There you have it! The structure of ocean basins and stages of their evolution give us the idea that ocean basins make up more than 70% of the total land on Earth. According to researchers, the Atlantic Basin has been the most active area of oceanic crust creation over the past 200 million years. I hope you have become fascinated with the structure and evolution of ocean basins, just like oceanographers or marine geologists who continually unravel and explore the world ocean. Again, I am Teresa G. Reyes, your Earth Science teacher here at David Hour Teletruan. Bye and good day!